John is partnering with community leaders this weekend to mentor young people in the area. Yeah, it is the hope uh, of them helping to make uh, smart choices and when they move forward and then eventually becoming productive and upstanding members of society. Joining us now from dedicated, motivated fitness in Middletown, Stephen Hartman and Middletown Police Chief Rodney Muterspaul. Guys, well, we know Stephen from our one minute workout videos Indeed. and several other stories we've done. We know Chief from the internet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, after Thanks, the sir. awesome Lady Annabelle video, yeah, you guys did such you. a great job with that. Thank and you. also, we, we talk a lot about Karate Kid and we 80s do. movies on Twitter. Ridiculous topic. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but this is just this is some good stuff you guys are doing this weekend. Talk a little bit about what you're hosting and, and where this collaboration came from. Um, yeah, we uh, we basically just want to be able to reach out to um, kids in the community and show them that regardless of where you are, where you came from, that you can still uh, take your life to the next level and be successful. Uh, we have leaders that um, are, are now fire chiefs who have their GED, um, who came from nothing. So everybody on this panel that we have of leaders all have a story to tell, yeah. and we just want to be able to get that story out to these teens. And Chief, how important is it early on to, to reach young people and develop our relationship with police officers and with leaders in the community that know, hey, there, there are people who I can trust and people yeah. who want to see me succeed? Yeah, it's important. I mean, you know, a lot of our crime involves young people 15, 16. We just had shootings in Middletown, and 15, 16-year-olds are the ones who committed those. And yeah. Steve and I were talking driving up here, how do you get to that point at that age? And we got to do more. we got to reach out. And it's great that leaders like him are asking other leaders to come forward and work with these kids. Well, and this story is so personal for both of you because the way you two connected was you were at a very young age. I remember you telling me this story, right. growing up essentially in the projects and then having a connection with him when he was a young police officer. Yeah. And look what it's, you, you planted a seed yeah. and it's starting to grow. I remember you told me yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Rodney used to uh, uh, hit us with the, the, the gun to let us know how fast wait, that wait, worked. Not the real gun. Okay. The radar. <laughs> the radar. <laughs> so he like, let us know how fast we're probably going a good on the bikes. Yes, 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 right yes, there, yes. Yeah. <laughs> But it was that relationship that you guys forged yeah. when you were young that has really led to you in turn wanting to see other kids succeed like you have. Yeah, and it never got me caught up in having uh, um, a misjudgment on all officers because of something I hear. Um, so he, he made me have a lot of faith in uh, police officers. Do you see your younger officers wanting to be involved in the community and making sure they have that connection? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I, that's one the, the most proudest thing that I can talk about with Middletown PD in Middletown is the fact that our officers are more engaged with the, with the community than, than about any place. And yeah. these guys will tell you that. I mean, they're out there every day and they do so much more than just police. It's not just about enforcement, it's about a lifestyle for them. And, and that's how Steve and I connected when he was a little kid and I'd go through and he'd give him candy out of my car and, because we kind of grew up the same way. And so I think when you grow up like that and you're not handed everything in life, I think it makes you, when you get older, to, to achieve things for, and, and great things for little people, for young people. Almost yeah. like paying it forward. Mm -hmm. um, talk a little bit about uh, Saturday, what's happening and what people need to know if they want to register. So the, the leaders that come in at uh, 9 a.m. and we're going to set up the tables ourselves. We have Veracruz um, who's donating food for up nice. to 150 people. Um, it's important for people to go on our Facebook and or send us emails to let us know they're coming and how many kids are going to come. We're going to have some uh, activity and some uh, leadership uh, and um, teamwork uh, challenges. And so if you if you know a teen who you'd like to see be part of the program or maybe you're watching right now and you'd like to be involved, again, make sure and register online so that how many people are coming and we'll get a link to how you can do that at local12.com. Just click on the Get It tab. Gentlemen, awesome. thanks for coming in. Awesome. Thanks, thanks for having us. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank Appreciate you. it.